solve for x x to the power log x to the base 3 is equal to 9. Okay, I have to solve for x in this equation. That is, I have to find the value of x. Okay, in the first step, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assign a new variable for this log x to the base 3. That is, I assume log x to the base 3 is equal to y. Okay, in the next step, I'm going to convert this equation to exponential form. To convert this equation to exponential form, I have to move this log to the base 3 to the other side of the equation. If I move this log to the base 3 to the other side of the equation, I have to ignore this logarithm. I have to consider only base 3 on the other side. This y will become the exponent of this base 3. So the next step, I have exponential, I will have this equation in exponential form. That is x is equal to 3 to the y to the power. Okay, now let me take the given equation. That is x to the power log x to the base 3 is equal to 9. Okay, here I know that x is equal to 3 to the yth power. So I can plug in 3 to the yth power for this x. So I get 3 to the yth power. And I know that log x to the base 3 is equal to y. So I can plug in y for this log x to the base 3. So I get 3 to the yth power again to the yth power is equal to 9. So I replace this x by 3 to the yth power and I replace this log x to the base 3 by y. So here we have base 3. We have the first exponent y for the complete stuff. Again, we have the exponent. Whenever we have two exponents like this, we can multiply these two exponents. So 3 to the power y times y will be y square, and we get 9 on the right side. Okay, here 3 to the y, 3 to the power y square is equal to this 9 can be written as 3 square because 9 is the power of 3, and it can 9 can be written as 3 square. Here the two terms are equal with the same base. Whenever two terms are equal with the same base, we can equate the exponents. That is, y square is equal to 2. Okay, to solve for y, I have to get rid of this 2. So I am taking square root on both sides. So this square root and square will cancel out. I get y on the left side. When I take square root for a number, so its sign is positive or negative. So on the right side, we have positive or negative square root of 2. So I get y is equal to square root of positive square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. Okay, uh, so but the target of the question is uh, to solve for x. Already we have solved for x, that is x is equal to 3 to the y to the power. Now we got the value of y, that is square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. So if I plug in square root of 2 for y, I'll be getting x is equal to 3 to the power square root of 2. Or if I plug in negative square root of 2 for y, I'll be getting x is equal to 3 to the power of negative square root of 2. So I get two values for x. The first value is uh, 3 to the power square root of 2. The second value is 3 to the power negative square root of 2.